Your health is your wealth. That's why we're always here to give you information, information at the right time and the right season, something that it will help. Yes, whether you're home alone or in your place of work, we always pass this information to you so that you can have a real benefit of what we're talking on Healthy Living on Dove Television. My name is Olua Femi Odunto. It's good to be here. If you're just watching this program for the first time or you just tuned to Dove Television, it's all about your health, giving you the right information. Yes, what to eat, the balanced diet, the food, the fruits, the exercises, all this and many more we do here on Healthy Living. I'm not here alone. I have a special guest here with us in the house. He has always been here on Healthy Living, always talking about the natural way to go. We have Dr. Chris Williams. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you for joining us. <laughs> it's good to have you. And it's, it's Happy pleasure. New Year. Yes, Thank I'll you. just say yes. that because I've just seen you for the, <laughs> for first, the first time, time. this year. Uh, so I want to say thank you, sir, thank for you. coming on thank this you. program. Nice to be here again. It's good to see you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right, we'd we'll like Dr. Chris Williams to lead us in a short prayer while we proceed. Thank you. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of another year. Thank you for the gift of a second month. We thank you for the gift of healthy living and the gift of health. We commit to this edition in your hands and we ask that you ride on it and use it to bring healing much more to your people. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, in Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for that short prayer. All right, before we proceed on today's topic, which is very quite going to be interesting for everyone that will be listening to us wherever you are in any part of this continent, I just wanted to know that uh, we're also having um, a live uh, program coming up. We have Lillian at uh, the Redeemed Christian Church of God. That's the health center at the Redemption Campground in Moe Ibafo. Joining us um, is the dedication ceremony of Enoch and Folu at the Boye Dialysis Center. Remember some years back, uh, we, we dedicated this, um, uh, this at the Health Center yes. in the Redemption Campground, yes. and we had an um, interview with uh, Dr. De, yes. and we spoke with him, and yes. he was explaining part of the things that, you know, uh, to us, you know, helping lives and all yeah. that, what Mommy Gio and Daddy really Gio is also doing. Yes, and it's, it's commendable. Yes, so yeah. the venue is Enoch and Folu Adeboye Intensive Care Unit, yeah. Redeemer's Health Center, Redemption Camp, Mowe, Ibafo. So you get to be part of it uh, while we proceed on today's topic. Looking at this topic, uh, Dr. Chris, it's been a while we talked about menopause. Yeah. Because some of us are, you know, I get it towards <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of us, are, actually, when, when it comes to that stage, and uh, most women are afraid that mm. hey, different kind of things come up. Yeah, oh, when you're in your sorts. menopause, yeah. you'll be feeling cranky, all the sorts. moodiness. You know, what, you just. What, one woman said, "I thought I was actually dying because I didn't understand what." Some was even come up with all manner of illness. Yes, yes, you know, yes, when yes. it comes to that uh, yes. menopause. Well, okay. I'm not scared anyway, but <laughs> the Lord is our muscle yeah, and our strength. That's why we're talking about it. <laughs> That's why we're talking okay, about Okay, so, so what is menopause? Okay, uh, menopause is actually an event. It is the last menses that a woman has in her life. Okay, so it is a diagnosis that is done in retrospect. So after like 12 months of not having menop of not menstruating, we can say that that last one that she had is her menopause. Now, um, the things that bring about uh, sicknesses and diseases, uh, are not sickness and disease problems, are the symptoms prior before the menopause mm. and even after the menopause. So we say uh, it's a perimenopausal syndrome, mm. perimenopausal, meaning around menopause, mm. before menopause, through menopause, and after menopause. Mm. So that's menopause. Uh, what happens is that, uh, so menopause indicates the end of ovulation in a woman. Hmm. The end of ovulation and menstruation hmm. in a woman. She stops ovulating and she stops menstruating. It also does indicate the end of fertility. Right. So what happens is that long before menopause, that last uh, menstruation ever comes, the woman's body 
begins to uh, generate less and less of certain hormones, three hormones, the estrogen, the uh, progesterone, and the testosterone. These three hormones are re both reproductive and sexual hormones. They are what makes the woman the woman. For instance, the estrogen is um, it's, uh, uh, a very actively involved in reproduction of a woman, but it's also um, uh, involved in building the woman into who she is. The fine skin, the, the building of the bust, the hips, and all that, uh, uh, beautiful skin and all that, those are the things that estrogen does in the woman. So estrogen is mainly released from the ovaries, but that's not the only place where it is released from. Uh, there are other aspects of the body where that release it. So what happens at uh, menopause or premenopause is that the, the production of the, the pro estrogen production of the ovaries begin to dwindle and it finally stops. Mm. That's what leads to menopause. There are other places that release estrogen, but very in minute quantities. Those ones continue to release, but because they larger the, let's call it the, larger, the largest distributor or the largest manufacturer of estrogen, which is the ovaries, has stopped working it begins to create problem. So th there are estrogen receptors in several other parts of the woman. The, e the progesterone um, counteracts the estrogen, like balances it. Okay, that's the work of the progesterone to balance it. That's why if a woman is also low in progesterone, she will have issues. The, it's important to also say that the progesterone is also a caminative. Mm. It, it helps the woman to calm down. So all that crankiness and irritability and all that is because the progesterone level has gone down. And then testosterone is chiefly responsible for libido. Libido is sexual drive, sexual hunger for sex, and sexual performance and sexual enjoyment. So because it's also down now, the woman begins to have issues. Now, what are the symptoms hmm. from, from the fact that all these three hormones have begun to dry up? Dry up. What are the issues? Plenty of them. In some women, it's anxiety. In others, it's dry skin. You remember I said the skin, the beauty, the beautiful skin of the woman, the shiny skin of the woman is because of estrogen. Now it has gone down. She begins to experience dry skin, fatigue, feeling of bloating. Mm. Some women even begin to, you know, just put grow, on uh, put on weight unnecessarily. Headaches, insomnia, which is lack of sleep. Palpitations. Palpitations is she begins to feel her heart b uh, beating. Okay? Then, uh, hot flushes. Let's, before I forget it. Hot flushes. Some people call it hot flushes. Some people call it hot flashes. This woman hotness will, inside will just begin to f uh, experience hotness inside her body. Wow. It begins from somewhere around there and then it, it will just spread. Even if she were sitting in a room as cold as this one. All of a sudden, she will just begin to have heat somewhere from inside, and then you spread through her body. She will break into sweat. It will last for around, around 10 minutes, and it will go down. Really? Now, imagine this happening like 10, 15, 20 times in a day. Ah. Okay, so it makes, it, some women, they uh, say that it, it, when it happens to them, sometimes it looks as if they should just remove their clothes, even if they are in the public. Okay, so wow. that hot flashes. Irritability, we have talked about it. Okay, decreased libido. Because testosterone has gone down, this woman no longer wants to desire sex. She doesn't enjoy sex and all that. Loss of concentration and mood swings begin to set in, night sweats, um, reduced stamina, um, urinary incontinence, be because uh, uh, the, there are also estrogen sites in the bladder. Mm. And uh, once estrogen is down, our control of urine begins to have issues. In some women, all these things don't happen in all no, in one, one woman. Week. So mm. some women will have different, different things. This is why after some time, in old age, if you go near some women, in old age, you, they, 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 they smell urine because they dribble urine. Urine will be dropping. If they laugh too much, urine will drop. If they cough, the urine will drop. 
is because there's incontinence. There's incontinence. There's also vaginal dryness. The, 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 the vagina begins to dry and actually shrink. Mm. Okay? And then um, weight gain, joint pains, air loss, okay. and all that. Yes, I'd like you to continue, but yeah. I just want viewers to know that we have some um, images we'll be displaying okay. right there while Dr. Mm. Chris is also giving uh, some of this explanation. So my director over there, so while we're talking, let's just have those images displayed. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so, so uh, all this begin from maybe early 30s in some women, mm. but the normal time it does begin in most women is between around 45 it begins. If it begins early 30s, it came early. Around 45 it will begin and then uh, in most women, around 50, it, it, they finally reach menopause. So the average age is between 45 and 55, thereabout, the average age. Of now, menopause. Uh, of menopause. Uh, but some women reach it early. In, especially women in our days are beginning to reach it. I've seen people come in at 32. They have stopped wow. seeing their period. Uh, 35, they have stopped seeing their period. Wow. Okay? And um, it's because of... Uh, uh, Is this, it a lifestyle? The general health okay. of the human population. Okay, we have something displayed down. right there on the screen. Y yes, uh, okay. okay. The okay. signs and symptoms of menopause. All right, yes. Mm. Uh, you are pooing all the time, mm. you are moody, um, you, and, and all that. Uh, mm. What's that again? Night sweats and all that. Mm. So, all those kinds of things, they're, they're, they are there. So, after. Uh, these things having stayed for a long time in some women 10 years, in some women 15 years, at the end of the day, when the fam uh, menopause has finally happened, it can result to three important things. Number one, they can have a cardiovascular um, breakdown. That's the, they can have a heart problem. A, this woman could end up with a heart problem, a cardiovascular disease, mm. or osteoporosis. What is osteoporosis? Softening of the bones. Mm. Okay, that's why in old, um, women that are aging, you notice that they begin to develop either bow leg or K leg. Ah, not Chris. Uh, it's because of the softening of their bones, and then some of them begin to bow over. What that's about what, what about those that have a bow leg naturally? Femi, the Lord is your strength. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so, uh, and then there's also the shrinking of the vagina. How mm. do you manage it? Mm. That's more of what I know will interest our people the more. Start early, preparing for it. It will come. Mm. It will come. It does not, menopause or men, perimenopausal syn syndrome or symptoms do not have to be as severe as they are if you start preparing for it early. Hmm. Now is the time when you are in your 30s, when you are in 32, 33, is to, to prepare your body for it. If you abuse your body by way of your eating and your lifestyle, those things are more likely to be more severe when they come and they are more likely to, be, to even come earlier. Okay, hmm. so start by okay. start menopause preparing. symptoms. That's okay. the picture. Uh, yeah, image yeah. So of those lady. are all the places where it, it, can, it can affect. Hmm. It can affect. It can hmm. affect the, the brain. It can affect the eye. It can affect the skin. It can affect se the joint, several places. Hmm. Because these hormones, uh, like I said, estrogen, they not only act on the reproductive organs, they act um, almost generally hmm. all over the body. Hmm. All right. Okay, so. Um, what to do reduce very drastically especially if you're watching and you're having very severe menopausal uh, symptoms and it's really disturbing you i spoke on this on a zoom conference somewhere a, a women in science association and there were several of them from south africa many joined and three women came to give their own personal experience wow. one woman said she thought she actually was dying Mm. She went to a couple of doctors. They said nothing was wrong with her. Mm. It was the last doctor that said, I think it's menopause that's harassing you. Mm. So she started studying and she started doing these natural things. Mm. She started doing the, the okay. number one. That's uh, okay. menopausal symptoms in a long term uh, Long term impact. impact. Hmm. Long term impact. Um, um, these are some of the uh, things. The, yes, vaginal effects, um, macular degeneration of the eyes, joint uh, issues, loss of libido. All those are the long-term impacts. Uh, if the longer it stays, uh, lo that it will stay long if it starts early. 
for instance, if somebody starts having uh, uh, the symptoms at 35, you can imagine between 35 and maybe like 55 or 50, 15 years, the longer it stays, the more it will damage the body. Wow. Okay? And then um, uh, uh, the more severe it is, the more it will damage the body. There are some women, they just know that their body changes a bit, but they don't have any problem. You will not know they are going through anything. But some women, is tussle, it's war. I mean, and, and so quickly, back to what we're saying, reduce drastically your intake of animal proteins any day, any time. I was saying in one of our recordings uh, yesterday uh, that um, I've, I've, in doing this, I've treated over 100 disease conditions. Wow. And I've not come across one disease condition where it says just increase your animal intake that you will get elder by that, not one. Yes, I was talking about halitosis. Maybe sometime we'll talk about it here. Bad breath. It's always the same thing. Reduce your intake of animal protein. Stay with fish, dried fish. Do it moderately mm. and all that. Okay? Mm. Because these promote hot flashes. Mm. Uh, avoid alcohol, caffeine, sugar, spicy foods, hot soups and also drinks. Say. Yes, avoid them. Mm. Okay? All the um, treatment and the symptoms. Uh, yes. Mm. Okay? Those are the treatments, those are the symptoms there. Mm. Uh, can, they, can they see it at home? Yes. Okay, they're uh, seeing it at yeah, home. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so, um, uh, uh, so avoid alcohol, caffeine, and stimulants generally. Hot food, spicy foods, avoid them. Why? They trigger hot flushes, they aggravate urinary incontinence, they make food swing, mood swings worse. Mm. I mean, some women, they just change. A, a, an either too pleasant, very friendly, a uh, woman, all of a sudden, she just becomes so cranky, so irritable, uh, almost, al almost behaving like a mental okay, case. Um, doctor, uh, <laughs> because you, sometimes, you know, you know what, with all these things mm. you're saying, a lot of people are like, oh, now I understand why my mother is like this. Oh, oh I understand why this. That they need a lot of understanding, but they also need understanding. They need to understand themselves. The worst part is, people don't understand themselves again. Your body just changes, and that is depressing. When you are telling people, this thing is doing me, and they are wondering, but you are not sick, you don't have typhoid, you don't have this. Uh, so that, it's depressing. So now you understand why you are going through it. And by the time we are finished talking, you will know some things that you should do to help yourself. Okay, so very important. What other, so what should you eat? Mm. What should you eat? Eat more plant-based foods. Millets, guinea corn, maize, oats eat these things. The only grain that you should stay away from is wheat and all its pro products, flour products and all that stuff, but stay away from them and then eat more plant-based foods, mm. okay? Eat beans, eat brown rice or mm. father rice if you can, Irish potatoes, mm. eat those things. And then also let more of your food be uh, raw, raw foods, you know, that's because you are eating plant-based food. In other words, eat a lot more vegetables. Mm. Cucumber, cabbage, carrot, lettuce. Eat vegetable salads a lot without the cream. Eat vegetable sal salads a lot. And then you can blend them and drink them. These help you to, to um, replenish your body against many things that it will affect your body. So mm. carrot, beetroot, celery, spinach, cabbage, broccoli, cucumber, cauliflower, kelp. All these, just get into the habit of getting two or three per time, blend it, uh, and drink it. And then this is important. Next thing I want to say, there are foods that are rich in plant estrogens. Okay. Remember we said the problem is that estrogen drops. drops. And that very little estrogen is now being produced in, from some other parts of the body. Now, there are some plants that produce, that have plant estrogens. If you eat them, they will help to augment the estrogen in your body. Mm. This is as opposed to what they do. Uh, when the case is really bad in some people, they give them hormone replacement therapy. And I will say as a natural practitioner that hormone replacement therapy is not the first thing that a woman should go, and should go for. Okay. After you have done all this, then... If it's not working, then you let them come begin to consider hormone replacement. These are, there are plants that contain estrogens that can mimic your normal estrogen if you eat them. Uh, plants like soya beans. Okay. Okay, so eat soya, uh, drink soya milk without sugar, uh, uh, soya powder, 
flax seed, flax, F L A X. Flax uh, so you use flaxseed oil, or you 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 eat flaxseed, or you 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 grind it and you eat it. Can as this a, be found in local? Oh local yeah, market? soya is everywhere now. Flax is everywhere. Okay, um, all grains also, like I talked earlier, celery, parsley. These are things that uh, the, every malam on the road, all these people that they have them. Okay, you are they contain plant-based estrogens. We call them phyto. Estrogens they help to alleviate the symptoms of out flushes. What other thing should you do? Replace white salt mm. with Himalayan salt. Himalayan or, salt. I know you're uh, always Celtic talking about that Himalayan mm. salt. The, these nice. two salts are more balanced than white salt. Okay. 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 And then also um, other things to do. These are also very important. Now exercises. One of those professors said she she read up and then she started changing her diet. And then she started exercising. She had gone through this almost like six months. Literally, she had begun to consider retirement, <laughs> early retirement. And then she started doing this and exercising, and she got back alive. Exercise is very important. And at, at your age, you don't need to be jogging. Just take a walk. Mm. About 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes at, at night after you have eaten. Uh, do brisk walking. By the time you sweat, and it, it, it exercises in short helps you to arrange, rearrange your body. Mm, okay, no true. matter the disease you are going through, exercises will help a lot. Massage therapy, mm. massage helps. That if you have somebody important. who is professional around you that can massage you, or your husband can go and learn massage. Uh, okay, massage helps. What massage does? It it helps your lymph lymphatic system. To, to flow better. Mm. As we are growing old, our lymphatic uh, drainage is becoming slower and slower. Mm. The lymphatic system does not have a pump like the blood circulatory system. The heart is a pump. It makes blood move. But the lymphatic system doesn't it move slowly, especially by, by physical activity. But as we are growing old, and as our uh, physical activity is dwindling, our lymphatics begin to, dr to dry. So massage helps. Avoid, avoid and manage stress. Mm. Try and avoid and manage stress. One professor that spoke at that conference, I like how she said it. She said she had to go and get a driver that she had never liked uh, somebody driving her. But at that point, she had to go and get a driver. She had to start learning how to delegate. She was this kind of very finicky person who, if you wash her cloth, she would like to rewash it. If you cook for her, she will be what? there telling you everything. She said she had to just abandon all those things and slow down. Okay? Stress worsens the symptoms of mm. perimenopause. Do drink two to three liters of water daily. 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 And alkaline water, we have always said that. Mm. Uh, for vaginal dryness and, and shrinking, you can use vitamin E oil to rub in those places. Okay? Um, uh, because um, the fact that um, um, this is the point also mm. at which many men I know we, do, we are not like that in Christendom out there. This is the point at which many men begin to look outside. Mm. Reason, they are no longer, their wives are no longer available to them. Because the itching and the dryness makes sex very painful. So it's something that needs to be done, something needs to be done about it. Okay, so you can use by, uh, um, vitamin E oils. Okay, to rub and all that. And then you can also use some jellies, KY jelly, pre-seed jelly. These are the things that, that can help. be, that can help. Now, supplements to take. Uh, supplements are very important. One, the first one is coenzyme Q10. Mm. Coenzyme Q10. Co-iPhone enzyme Q10. Q10. Oh, sorry, coenzyme um, Q iPhone 10. Okay, it supports detoxification, it eases depression, it increases energy, it supports your adrenal, whatever. Uh, another one is D H E A, written in capital D H E A, the hydro epiandrosterone. That's why they shortened it. It's, um, it enhances your so sex you drive. Wait. And it, because in the body, when you take it into your body, mm. it's converted to it, it, testosterone. It helps to boost the presence of testosterone. You want to say something? Yeah, so I, I wanted to ask, so if you walk into any pharmacy and ask oh, for these are available. medication, these they, are available. they do have it. Mm. 
And then such persons need to also be on essential fatty acids. Okay. Essential fatty acids, omega-3. We have always talked about omega-3. Okay. Don't go for omega-6. Mm -hmm. Try and ask for omega-3. Okay. And then evening primrose is very important. Evening primrose also helps. And then there's a herb called black cohosh. Mm. Black cohosh is also available as supplements in pharmacies. Mm. It helps to supplement um, estrogen in the body i think you uh, yeah yeah i wonder yeah we have other things to say mm. but i just want to also remind viewers before we go on this yes. break that uh you'll be joining us shortly or soon the dedication ceremony of enoch and follow adeboye dialysis uh center it's happening today at the venue enoch and follow adeboye intensive care unit uh, redeemers health Center Redemption Camp Mowe Ibafo in Ogun State, Nigeria. We'll quickly go on a short break. We'll be right back. Please don't go away. Thank you. Open Heavens International Center. I believe that what you see and hear here will rouse your faith and your life will never remain the same. Challenge God using what you see here as a point of contact to your miracle. Welcome back, still on Healthy Living on Dope Television. It's good to be alive, and I've been with Pastor uh, Dr. Chris Williams. Yes, he's also a pastor. And we'll be looking at the topic menopause. Yes, at this point, we'd we'll like viewers to please uh, pick up your phone and dial the number that will be displayed right there on your TV screen. Remember to tell us your name, your, where you're call, uh, calling from. Or if you are trying to dial and you can't get through to us, please send us an SMS. We'll read out your SMS. Remember, our topic is menopause. And also, this is just to remind you that we will be having the uh, dedication ceremony of Enoch and Folu Adeboye uh, Dialysis Center. It's happening right here at the Redemption Camp, Kilometer 46, Lagos Badon Expressway, at the Health Center. That's the Redeemer's Health Center, uh, Redemption Camp, Mowe, Ogun State, Nigeria. Please be part of it and God bless you. All right, back to Dr. Chris Williams. Uh, I'm still looking at some of these things that yeah, you mentioned some, about. Some yes, yeah, supplement that one needs to take. Mm. I hope they are not too expensive because no. someone might just be watching and say, okay, ah, if I go to the pharmacy now, they might call one huge amount for no, me. The and, uh, they are not. They okay, are not. They are but, very affordable things. Yes, I want us mm. to revisit back those fruits. I think fruits will be a lot more cheaper. Those natural fruit of blending you, and taking you, it, the carrot, the cucumber. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> the carrot, um, the cucumber. Carrot, cucumber, cabbage, celery, spinach, mm. um, um, beetroot, avocado, pear. These are the things that the person can be blending and drinking. Mm. But by and large, they need supplements. And I think that they, they are affordable. Uh, they are affordable. Okay, so um, something like magnesium supplements. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, we have Dockers from Ibadan. Please, okay. Dockers, can we have Dockers? Thank you and God bless you. Hello, Dockers. Hello. Hello. All right, thank you for calling, Dockers. Please go ahead with your question. Ma, I'm listening to a program on Metropolis now. On Doc TV. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Please speak up. Go ahead with your okay. question. Um, I just want to ask that we have just started and we have because of um, not to just give birth too much. We are having um, all this child, all this, um, um, uh, what do we call it, family planning things. So I just want to ask that hope uh, at the long run, maybe when we are growing older, I hope it won't affect one's um, condition even to worsen menopause situation because of the case of all those drugs i noticed slowly that most times when i use it i don't really the um progesterone or the testosterone i the daddy said i it reduces a lot and it sometimes affects in the relationship sexually with my husband but then we have to plan things but so i just want to ask that oh, it won't even worsen the menopause you. That is what I want to know. Thank you so right, much, thank you, Doka. Doka. That's a very brilliant question. Mm. My suggestion to women is don't use any hormone-based um, um, uh, con contraceptive. Mm. Yes, use copper wire, in a copper tea. There's, there's a copper kind of little copper thing they will put inside the person. It's, uh, and then um, it makes the womb to be unfriendly. So the, any uh, baby that wants to stay there cannot stay there. It's, it's almost 97% safe, okay? But using injectables or depo or, and, and all that, or the one they put under the skin, it destroys, it deranges your hormonal pattern. And it can create all, all sorts of things mm. in the body. Even using the pills too? That's what I'm saying. Pills are, are made from uh, estrogens mm. uh, or sometimes progesterone and all All right. That. We have Messi from mm. Lagos. All right. Let's have Messi. Hello, Messi. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Yes, we can hear you. Please go ahead with your question. Yeah. The, the doctor said that some people start... Yeah, menopause, their early 30s. What could be the cause? Is it nature or how? Okay. It's, it's yeah. mostly, it's not nature. It's how they have carried on their lives. You, you know, their, their lifestyle. As, mm. uh, so they enter into, uh, maybe initially they were in a hormonal imbalance, which quickly resulted in um, uh, the total dryness of their menstruations. So it's not nature. It's not nature. It's, it's uh, ab abnormality, let's put it that way. Mm. It's not nature. Mm. That's why it's important, even as, as you are raising a young woman, a young girl, a teenager, you have to tell them about taking care of their body. Because this, it didn't used to be things that are happening to women in our age were not as common in the age of our parents. I am sufficiently convinced that women in this age are less fertile than our parents mm. yes you know now we women don't have the liberty to give birth to 15 or 12 ah. and all that oh, no Dr. because Chris. of economic reasons <laughs> but besides that our women are less fertile why because lifestyle, plenty of sugar, plenty of this, plenty of stress, plenty of all we'll that. We'll come back to it, plenty yes. of that stress and sugar. We have Gladys mm. from Bini. Yes. Hello, Gladys. It's good to have you. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, please speak up. Okay. Like, uh, uh, I'm listening to the topic of the main report. Hello, we can't hear you, Gladys. You can hear me. Okay. Now, please speak up. Thank you. Like I said, I say I'm listening to... Yeah, good morning. I say I'm listening to the topic. Yeah, it's very, very interesting. Like some of the things he mentioned, like twisting and all. When I started this, in fact, I almost say witches were attacking me. You can hear me. <laughs> Okay, like I said, when I started this, 
especially in the issue of sweating, I will only be which is I can't sleep until I met a doctor. He now said, no, it's your menopause that you are going through. Like some of the things, like another thing he mentioned that I'm experiencing too, the weak in your bones. Then I was thinking it was a trick. I'm taking a lot of things. If I maybe mistakenly miss a step, my bones, the way it's no more. I, will, I begin to imagine what is going on with me. Like, as I be listening now, I begin to understand that these are the, this is what is responsible. Like, there's something in mention that we should be taking. Flat. I don't know the, how the fruit is. I don't know if you can just put it on the screen so that I will know. I would rather, I would love to go for the fruit. Then there is a main thing that was brought for me, like from the U.S., 50 plus. I have been taking it centurion. I don't know if it's a good uh, supplement that I have to continue. Thank you, Dr. Chris. I always enjoy your program and you are doing very well. I pray that the Lord God Almighty will thank you. Amen. You are really helping Amen. a lot of us. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, ma. <laughs> and thank you for watching Dove Television. I really want to thank you for it. You know, that's the... It, that's what a lot of people are uh, uh, taking as uh, probably a mistake mm. when they start feeling all those things. They see someone is attacking them. It's a spiritual attack. Yes, yes. I have, uh, I know of a grandma too that yes. when she start, I said, Mama, it is hot for you. You mm. stopped your, you started uh, menopause at yes. early age. Yes. Mama, you said, she said, No, mm. that someone is attacking her. It's spiritual. Mm. Thank you, Ma, for confirming <laughs> this. That it is not spiritual, though. it is menopause that is attacking us. Yes, <laughs> it is not yes. spiritual. Mm -hmm. So it's good that they are hearing this and um, they have that knowledge. Even yes. if the old woman is dumb, I will still go back and say, please, Mama, let's watch Dove mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. and hear what this doctor is saying. That mm -hmm. This is not spiritual. Yeah. Your legs, your, she said, she'll, she'll say it, that she's always having hot, hotness with it. And mm -hmm. I said, I, I know you, we've discussed about yes, this uh, yes, menopause. Mm -hmm. Yes, for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I told her, I said, this is menopause. Mm -hmm. We have Shegu from Akure. Let's have Shegu, please. Thank you for calling. Good Hello. morning. Thank you, sir. Go ahead. Good morning. I, I want to ask some questions from doctor. This your program is, uh, is fantastic. Thank Wonderful you. Wonderful program. Thank you. But I need to ask one or two questions on menopause. Number one concern is, what are the signs? What are the symptoms? Because I didn't join you from the beginning. What are the symptoms of uh, menopause in men? The okay. symptoms of menopause in men. Okay. I want to know the symptoms of menopause in men. Then number two, this issue of STD, this infection. I want to ask one question about it because a lot of people are having these infections. They don't know what to do on it. And people around us are complaining of you know infertility and all this stuff. Can this STD infection cause infertility? Okay. Can this cause infertility? And what will the person do? To, to solve this issue of uh, you know, infertility and STD. Thank because you. The person told me that she has used a lot of drugs. She has uh, done a lot of tests. And uh, you know, she has used a lot of antibiotics. And nothing is uh, changing. So nothing is changing. And somebody even told me that when he wants to urinate, he will feel the pain mm. when he's urinating. What would the person do about it? Is there any other product or whatever? The person can use apart from antibiotics that can solve this problem once and for all. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, doctor. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. So, the first yes, question. Yes, the first question. Yes. Menopause um, in men. Yes. Menopause is not, it does happen in men, but it's not called menopause. It's called andropause. We'll talk about uh, that. Okay. Mm -hmm. we'll, so, we'll talk about that later. And it also comes with its own side um, um, signs and symptoms. This is when you see men begin to have a, a rounded gait. They begin to uh, have fat accumulation hair. Some of these things, um, easy tiredness, 
um, irritability begins to happen in them and particularly they begin to have issues with sex, with libido, with performance, with uh, uh, impotence, and all that. Now, he talked about um, infections. Mm, okay, what to do is make sure that you have gone to the hospital, let them um, um, do a, urinal a urinalysis on you and MCS, and then they will be able to tell whatever it is, uh, the bacteria that's attacking you. You take antibiotics, and then you can um, augment this with some herbal uh, things too, like echinacea, ginger, garlic. These are very strong anti-germicidal things that will also help. If you take them and stay on them for maybe like uh, six weeks thereabout, they will uh, help to stem the tide of infections. Yes, STDs, if not treated well, can lead to infertility. All right, thank you. We have um, Christabel from Ogun State. Is it Ogun State or Oshun State? Ocean States. All right, Christabel, let's have you. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Yes. I can hear you. Okay, can, can I talk? Yes, you can. Go ahead. Okay, um, when I had my baby for over um, 12 months now, I have not um, seen my period. And I don't know if how, it is how, um, normal. How old is she? How old is the baby? No. The, the baby is one year old. Christabel, how old are you? Um, tech, um, I'll be taxi this December. All right. Thank you for calling. God bless you, Christabel. I, I will not be able to sh say for certain, but this is likely a case of early menopause. Mm. Yes. This is what I, I was saying. Okay. It's likely a case. It, because if a woman has not seen a period for 12 months, a medical is significant. 12 months. I mean, 12 straight months, it has not come by accident. It's significant. And we say, so it's early menopause. We can call it early, early menopause. But what I will advise you is go and see the doctor. Let them check you, do a monal profile for you, and then whatever. And see what is up with her. Mm, and um, another thing, your, I your, your that face changed. Yeah, my face changed. I mean, the reason I've, why my face I've changed. Seen, is I've seen cases in their twenties. Yeah, um, um, doctor. Do you yes. see why my face changed? Is that yeah. I know someone that said mm. if she has a baby for yes. close to one year, she won't see her period. Okay. After breastfeeding the baby, after a year or a year plus, the period comes back. Okay. That's for someone okay. who has, you know, she has like three, okay. three babies okay. now. Maybe that's so what, she's like, mm. like that. And I said, ah. Mm. In some cases, it's six months. I've mm. had someone eight okay. months. Yes, yes, yes. Then after you know breastfeeding mm. or even continuous, you that's know the, the period goes. So sometimes that, the, what you said is correct. Mm, so, um, but she can still go for checkup. Go and yes, check please. up your yourself. Mm, okay, all right. Thank you. Yes, we have someone from Bayesa. Please go ahead with your question. Uh, just just ask a question, just to confirm what the young man is saying, the doctor is saying. Okay. And really, I had all of these problems at about 50, 50, 50 and 55 years, and it was really stressful for me. Nobody really understood what was happening. Mm. I was always vomiting, clean hey. mind, I was always sick. Oh, dear. But so, oh, God's glory, you didn't let pass that period. I felt dead to look at myself again. That is, I got yes. back all my victims. Yes. I feel sure again. I think so. He said, so I want to say that what you say is very good, and I think the area we want this young women about to the mm. better for us. Let's let let everybody. Thank God. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Ma. Thank, thank you so much, thank Ma. You. God bless you. Ma. Yes, yes, we, we did. did. Thank you. Kat, thanks. Thank you, thank Ma. You. <laughs> it's true. It's a big deal I'll for many you. women. Mm. They, I mean, it scatters several aspects of their lives. In fact. Some it will be disorganized. Yes. <laughs> Some retire early because they don't just understand themselves again. Mm. But if you have the knowledge and you start preparing for it earlier, the better for you. Okay, so some other, do you want to take more calls? No, no okay. don't worry. Okay. Some other uh, uh, supplements, um, supplements that contain calcium, magnesium, zinc, it's important. Okay, and then also... Um, Someone asked um, that we should go back to those fruits that we mentioned that one can uh, take and we, 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 we will, but mm. I was talking about black cohosh, mm. and there's something called b wild yam roots. There are also things that help to calm you down, um, and that is um, chamomile. 
Chamomile is very, very good. Mm. Chamomile is very, very uh, uh, good in um, calming the person down. Magnesium is good because instead of being irritable, you are just calm. Mm. Yes. Mm. All right. What about those fruits that you mentioned earlier, the carrots and the other things to blend? Carrot, celery, spinach, um, um, cucumber, cabbage, Is beetroot. avocado part of it? Avocado. Yeah, can we blend oh, avocado? Oh, yes, seeds? avocado is part of it. Mm, okay, yes. thank you so much. Uh, let's see, I think we have a question. Uh, let's read out. Okay, thank you for this program. Um, single at 48 and not menstruating again. Wow. wow. Is there any medication or still feel the symptoms during wow. my period but no flu? Wow. Let's pick this up first. Sarah, Sarah from Ota. Wow. Hello. Hello, good morning. All right, thank you for calling. Please go ahead with your question. Yeah, my question is um, concerning the topic menopause. I'd like to ask the doctor, how about someone who naturally from time has a monthly period, is always like a day or a day and a half, can such a person have heavy menopause? Depending on what the cause is. If that, uh, depending on what the cost of that uh, one day and a half uh, monthly period is, okay. it can lead to early menopause. Okay, it so let's answer. It can cause person to dry up early. Okay, let's answer this person. 48, single at 48 and not menstruating again. Yes. She's uh, asking, what's the solution to it? Or sometimes well, it comes, but it doesn't flow. They will. What to do is begin to attempt all this, but if you have hit it, um, you have hit it. You mm. have hit menopause. That does not mean the person cannot still get married. You get married if you come into understanding with your spouse and you can make babies through IVF. Mm. Uh, they can make babies through IVF. All right, this okay. is our last text for today. And uh, Ambrose, my wife, has for long complained of movement in her body, hotness in the body. I think, Andrew, you've listened to all That's what you right. said. Yes, uh, that yeah. is, yeah. Mm. All right, uh, that's uh, from Ambrose. We want to say thank you so much, Doctor. You've thank given you. us this time and um, uh, want to say we're grateful for this menopause period of people calling. <laughs> <laughs> we are part of it also as a woman, too. All right, Moses, please let's have Moses from Redemption Camp here with us. Hello, Moses. Hello, yeah, hello. All right, we can. can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Please go ahead with your question. Thank you. Okay, uh, it's very unfortunately that my wife is not around, so oh. she she she's in better position to ask this question. Now I want to ask uh, the doctor. Whenever she's having an issue, she normally does so much blood, and I don't know what is the cause. She she, she normally does, what? and she will not be able to do something. Okay, he said uh, I, I whenever yeah. she's having a period, she's, she normally uses so many uh, medication and... Okay, maybe know. she's in pain. She's having um, menstrual pain and all mm. that. Okay, that's another issue. That's no menopause. Mm. Okay, so um, there are other things she can do. But one of the things I mentioned there is evening primrose. Okay. Evening primrose and omega-3 can really help her to calm down the pain that she's having during menstruation. All right, uh, for further counseling, we have Dr. Chris' number displaying right there on your TV screen. Get to call him, send him a WhatsApp message. I said this is urgent, Dr. Chris. You just have to respond to us. And also, I just want to remind viewers that you will be joining us soon. Uh, the dedication ceremony of Enoch and Folu Adeboe Dialysis Center. It's happening here at the venue. Enoch and Folu Adeboe Intensive Care Unit, Redeemer's Health uh, Center, Redemption Camp, Moe, Ogo State, Nigeria. So be, be part of it because we have Lillian uh, there standing by for us. I want to say a big thank you to everyone who was calling on this program, to my director over there, thank you, VCR, to the engineers, to the MCR, to the camera crew in the house. A big thank you to you and to most especially our viewers. I want to wrap it up with a prayer coming from Dr. Chris Williams. Lord, thank you. You are our creator. You are the maker of our bodies and you understand it. Lord, we have shared um, the little with your people. We ask that you help us use this knowledge to maximize our health. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. Like us on Facebook. Get to watch exciting and interesting edition of our Healthy Living uh, program on our YouTube channel and every other fantastic and interesting program. We have Daddy Geo's program. We have Mommy Geo's program. We have exciting moments at Dove Television where you can watch on our YouTube channel. I remain Oluwafemi Odunton. Remember to stay safe at all times. God bless you and bless your families in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful day.